Hello, welcome everyone in today's webinar. My name is Anissa Seydai and I represent the admission team of the Academy of International Business Lyon. In today's meeting, we are with Steven and Johan. Steven is our professor and also is responsible for international admission as well. And Johan is the president of the school. We are really glad to be with you today and I hope you will enjoy this webinar. Thank you. Okay. Oh, maybe you can start, Stephen, and we can share the okay. video after. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna. We have a little video that we'll show you at some point. But let me introduce myself. My name is Steve Thompson, and um, I'm a professor at uh, Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah, in the United States. But I also am a consultant and an advisor to the Academy of International Business in Lyon. I've been working with them for some time now as we develop curriculum issues, as we create strategies for recruiting of students, and as I advise on the various programs. Um, and I presume that I might even be teaching some of you someday, so we'll see what happens there. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our program um, and talk a little bit about the admission process, the advantages and benefits of coming to the Academy of International Business in Lyon, and hopefully convince some of you that it would be a good place to come and study. Johan, you can go ahead and change the slide. Yeah, to put a change. Um, we are a, as it says there, we're a private international business school. We are looking for students that would be high performing students, students who are highly motivated and very interested in studying business uh, and developing themselves into global and international business professionals. We are accredited uh, by the Federation for Education in Europe. So your degree would be recognized throughout Europe and the credits that you would uh, uh, earn are actually transferable to other schools and to other programs should you choose to do that. Our courses are built uh, around business management, uh, the social sciences. Uh, and one of the things is I, I will explain that's unique about our program is your courses are taught by uh, experienced business professionals so that you will learn and be mentored by people who have started businesses, who have worked in uh, a number of different industries who not only share their knowledge, but their professional experience with you. Um, and again, as you can see in the last little line there, we are registered with the Ministry of Education in France. Go ahead, Johan. Um, we, uh, we have several goals, uh, a part of our mission and our vision, and one of which is that we grow human capital. Uh, organizations are only as good as the people that work for them. And so we want to grow you as a student and as a, an eventual global business professional into the very best and most successful uh, professional that you can become. Uh, again, as I explained just a second ago, we focus on skills. Uh, we focus more on than on just knowledge and, and uh, textbook training but we focus on the development of skills that you, we can, that you can take into the professional world and uh, use uh, in the professional world uh, that will make you beneficial and valuable to your employers. We train uh, for the profession, not just a diploma, but to be able to actually work in the real world. Um, go ahead, Johan. Uh, we have uh, a number of different uh, principles and values that are at the heart of what we uh, do at the uh, Academy of International Business. We focus on leadership, on building a community of professionals, but also helping you understand how to work in a community of professionals. Uh, we are about inclusivity and diversity. Our students come from all over the world and bring a lot of different perspectives. Uh, again, we focus on professionalism, on, we focus on business from a global perspective. And as I mentioned, our goal is for you to thrive 
and to succeed and to be successful in what you do. Go ahead, Johan. Um, most of our students like to immediately ask us questions about the cost. So we'll go directly to that. Um, the global, we offer two degrees. We offer a global bachelor's of business administration, the global BBA. And we offer a global MBA, master of business administration. The price, the, the cost, the fees for that for, uh, for the global bachelor's degree for one year is 8,500 euro. That's the cost per year. The MBA costs 9,500 euros per year. There is an administrative fee up front of uh, 320 euros. And it's important to note that we offer a, a scholarship uh, to our students to help them with that cost. And that scholarship is available to the students who uh, are among the, the first to apply. And that scholarship is worth 2,500 euros. So that would reduce the annual fee for the global BBA to 6,000 Euro, euros and the global MBA to 7,000 euros. So that scholarship is, defined, is designed to help you reduce the cost of coming to school to make it more affordable. Go ahead. Uh, the Bachelor of Business Administration, the global BBA, takes three years to complete. There's approximately 180 credits, ECTS credits, that are earned that, as I've mentioned, are accredited by the uh, FEBE. Um, and one of the things that makes the program unique, and you'll notice there in that last little bullet, uh, that two to six months per year, our students will be working as interns. Um, and in France, those are paid internships, and those internships um, will help uh, subsidize the cost of living and studying in uh, in Lyon. So uh, again, a part of what makes the program unique is you will spend part of your time in the classroom and part of your time working. In fact, uh, typically classes are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, sometimes on Thursday, which gives you several other days each week to work uh, so that you can intern and gain professional experience as you are learning skills and developing knowledge. Uh, students in that program uh, uh, select a specialization, a specific area that they will focus on in their studies. And there are five that you can choose from, communication and digital marketing. And this is the area that I work in. Uh, my area of expertise is communication, public relations, marketing communications. Uh, you can also specialize in traditional areas such as finance and accounting. Uh, we have a specialization in entrepreneurship and business development. Um, entrepreneurship uh, is, a, is an important and growing area, particularly in Lyon, Lyon, France, which is uh, kind of the, one of the centers of business startups for France. So it's a great environment to be in if you have an interest in entrepreneurship. Supply chain and operation management is another area in today's post-COVID uh, world. Uh, as we try to return to normal business practices, supply chain, manage, supply chain management may be one of the most important areas that you could study. And then we also have an emphasis in business uh, analysis and project management for those that want to lead groups, direct teams, and manage projects in their organization. Go ahead, uh, Joanne. We, uh, as I mentioned, we offer a global master of business administration. This is a two-year program, uh, again, uh, involving 180 credits earned. And just like the Bachelor of Business Administration, you will spend part of your time uh, in the classroom and a significant part of your time in a mandatory internship uh, where you will combine your learning with your professional experience. And you'll notice that here, the, with the bachelor's degree, it was two to six months. This is four to six months. So our MBA students will spend even more time uh, in an internship uh, program as a part of their uh, educational experience. The same uh, specializations that were available uh, for the global BBA are also available for the global MBA. You can see those there. Uh, go ahead, Johan. And uh, again, this slide shows you what some of the 
uh, classes that you would take in these different specializations. So for example, if you specialized in my area, you would have classes in sales strategy, marketing strategy, can, uh, customer relations and advertising, market research and so forth. Uh, if you focused on supply chain and operation management, you can see that you would have classes in logistics, uh, purchasing law, uh, risk management and other areas. Go ahead, Yolan. Um, one of the uh, things that I wanted to talk about is Lyon it has, is a university city as well as a business center. It has a, a number of universities, so it has a large number of students who come to university uh, in Lyon to study. And so as a result, there are uh, plenty of student accommodations that are available, uh, places where you can find a, a room uh, to rent and live in. Uh, the accommodations typically for students range from 400 to 600 euros uh, a month, depending upon the type of room that you would rent. And the academy is prepared to help you uh, connect with uh, different organizations and different groups that can help you find student housing accommodations. Go ahead, Yuan. Um, as we mentioned, the internship is a part of our program. And uh, in uh, France, uh, student interns, uh, the mandatory pay begins at 558 euros uh, per month and can be higher than that, depending on where you work and what you do. So you can see that the internship will certainly help uh, with the, the expenses in coming to France to, uh, to study and to live. Go ahead. Um, one of the unique features of our program, and I think there are several, we already talked about <clears throat> the opportunity to do an internship and get professional experience, but our program also gives you the opportunity to earn certifications. Um, and these certifications come from various professional uh, associations. For example, as you can see there, the Digital Marketing Institute, Google certifications, the Project Management Institute and others. So you leave with a diploma, with certifications, demonstrating your skills, your abilities and your knowledge. And you also leave with professional work experience. So it's a combination of these three factors that allow us to uh, help you develop into the very best and most competent business professional that you can become. Uh, so why come? Why study with us? Well, first and foremost, um, I think we have a great program, but more importantly, 100% uh, of our classes are taught in English. So as you come to our program, you will have the opportunity to develop and improve your English skills. But that also means that you have to have a certain level of English proficiency in order to, to do well in our program. You have to be able to read, write, speak, and understand English at uh, essentially uh, at minimum and intermediate level. Uh, so uh, again, we encourage our students to study English and improve their English skills prior to coming. And uh, we will provide some opportunities to help you with your English skills when you're there. A part of our assessment process will be, deter deter will be to determine if you speak English and read and write English at a level well enough to, to uh, survive in our program. We have an intercultural environment. Lyon is one of uh, France's great international centers. And uh, you will work with students and classmates and colleagues uh, from all over the world uh, who have come to Lyon to learn, to develop, and to be professionals. We focus on skills. Our classes are small. And as I mentioned, uh, you, you will be mentored. And that's because you will be taught by professors that have extensive business experience who have started businesses, who have run businesses, who have worked in the business world. My background, for example, I have a, a doctorate, but I also worked in corporate public affairs. Uh, so I have a combination of both academic and professional experience that I bring to my students. Uh, again, I mentioned the internship program and the opportunities that uh, it brings to help you finance your program. Uh, as a student, as an international student in France, you will also be eligible for uh, France's Social Security, 
which will allow you to have medical health and life coverage. So you will be, have access to, the, uh, uh, to medical care in France. And I should note that uh, globally, France is considered to have the best, if not among the very best uh, medical and health programs, uh, providing the best uh, health care uh, for the people who live in France. You will also have the opportunity to get subsidies on your rent for your accommodations. Um, many uh, uh, of the uh, restaurants and public transportation uh, uh, provide discounted prices, reduced prices uh, for students. And of course, if you come to our program, you will come on the Schengen visa, which will give you the opportunity to travel throughout uh, France and certainly throughout Europe and, and the Schengen countries uh, that make up Europe and Central Europe. Um, uh, Lyon is easily, uh, uh, you can access other European capitals easily by, by train, by car, by airplane from Lyon. Geneva is not far away. Germany is close. Paris is close. The French Riviera is close. Uh, Italy is certainly close. So uh, if you like to travel, you will have that opportunity in your spare time. So a couple of very important business, I'm sorry, email addresses uh, to remember. Uh, They're listed here. I would screen capture this or take notes on this. If you have questions, you can contact us uh, by emailing hello at leonbusinessacademy.com. Uh, you can also contact the uh, admissions uh, process through admission at leonbusinessacademy.com. You can go uh, and get information regarding that. And of course, we encourage you to come to our website, uh, which is located at leonbusinessacademy.com. And uh, our WhatsApp uh, access number is also listed there. Um, if you go to the website, you can find the application uh, and it will walk you through the process of applying and the documents that you will need to send to us. Once we've received your application, you will hear from us and we will arrange for an interview uh, with you to discuss your interests, your desires, and to uh, assess your English abilities. And generally, a short time after that interview takes place, uh, we will be able to provide you with uh, a letter of admission if you've been accepted into our program. Johan, is that the last slide? Yes, it is. Thank okay. you, Stephen. Did you want to show the video and then we'll answer questions? Yes, we are going to show you a short video, uh, like two, two or three minutes. And after that, we can uh, answer to all your questions. Okay. Uh, Can you see the, the, the video? Uh, I don't see it. And now? I hear it, but I don't see it. Don't think why it doesn't work. That's too bad. Yeah. Do you need to unshare the screen and then reshare the screen? Yeah, that's what I did. OK, because it, it didn't go away, the, uh, the slides. Still here, but don't see. Here, Lyon has been voted one of the three best cities to study in France in an exceptional ecosystem. Doesn't work. Located in the heart of the leading no, industrial region see in France, okay. Let's at stop. the crossroads of Switzerland, Italy, and Spain, Lyon offers multiple. Okay, next time. <laughs> We need to figure out how to. Yeah. You, did you did did you did stop you did stop the share on this particular screen, and then reshare the new screen? Yes, it's what I did. Hmm. So maybe the most important thing is to answer to the questions of the students. Okay. Let's yeah. let's answer some questions. Yeah. And um, maybe you can ask the questions. Yeah. Uh, one of the questions I saw is an individual asked about bringing their family. Johan, can you answer that question for them? It's the hardest questions. Actually, we have to check if it's possible. It depends uh, if your partners want to be a student of the school or not. 
So um, yeah, and do you have? And it depends also if you are, if you want to come with kids or not. So we have to check about about that. Yuan, did you want to explain to them uh, the process, the interview process at the embassy, uh, and what it will require uh, for them to get their visa for the embassy to come? Uh, yes, maybe Anissa can do it. She knows it. She knows the process. Okay, process. that would be fun. Anissa. Yeah. Please yeah. do that. So uh, to explain a little bit more about the admission process, when you go to our website, you can have the application form there. After you fulfill it and you will be able to upload the documents that are required there, you will receive an email by our site where is booked the first interview between you and the school. After we do the interview, the first session of the interview, we will need two or three days, even one week, to ponder about your profile and, of course, to discuss with the admission team. And you will receive your last email if you got accepted or not. In cases that you are accepted, we will send it to you, admission, conditional admission letter and study contract as well. In cases that you have applied for a scholarship and you received one, Attached with a conditional admission letter and study contract will be also the scholarship letter. With those letters available in your hand, you need to sign the study contract and send it back to us. And about the unconditional admission letter, you need to pay a percentage of the tuition fee in the bank account of the school, which will be attached as well. After you do these steps, you will receive the final enrollment letter which will allow you to go to the embassy in your country, to the French embassy, and apply for a visa. Of course, after you receive a visa, you are welcome to come and join our academy. Okay. Uh, and, of course, in the interview uh, that you'll have with the French embassy, uh, they will uh, certainly assess your financial capacity and your language skills to come. So that's, again, why it's important. Um, that you are able to demonstrate an ability to pay and to be proficient in English uh, in order to come to the uh, to the program. Several students um, are uh, asking questions about the uh, uh, the language requirements. The if the I E L T S and the TOEFL uh, are mandatory. Um, what are we requiring uh, language-wise for the uh, fall cohort and for the spring cohort? Are we right now? We are not requiring any of those tests. Is that correct? Yes, it is. It is just an interview between you and I, and it's not necessary to have uh, EILTS for the embassy. It's not necessary if we come from India. Okay. So in the future, we may require those, but in the present, we are not requiring those exams. We will do a, an assessment on our own to assess your English skills uh, as we interview you. Um, One of the question is, is there a paid internship available in the program? So actually in the program, in the uh, second and third year, you can, uh, it's mandatory to have uh, an internship. It could be, it could be paid. It depends on the organization where you have your internship. So you, you can get money from, from the, your internship. It's possible. Same thing for the, for the MBA. First year and second year, you, it's mandatory to, to have an internship. And it's, in French, it's, it's paid for MBA. Okay, someone asked, um, oh, let's see, where did I see that question? Oh, uh, Ali asked the question he, uh, about our certificate program. Are we offering, I don't know that we're offering a certificate program. It's either the Bachelor of Business Administration or the MBA program. I'm not sure about that particular question. The certificates program will be open and not now, but uh, at the end uh, of the first part of the 2023, uh, uh -huh. which we start in May, the certificate program. And uh, we had a question uh, from someone who indicated if they uh, uh, were unsuccessful in obtaining their visa, would they get a refund of the money they paid? And the answer to that is yes. 
if uh, you're denied the visa, we will refund the money that you've paid initially. So, For yes, sure. yes. There is another question. Back. Is that webinar seminar for only BVA or MBA courses? Yeah, this webinar is for both courses. This is a general information for our BBA and MBA program. Of course, after that, you can go in the website and look for more. If you have questions, you can contact in our email, social media, or phone number as well. Uh, someone asked about employability after graduation. Johan, what does the job market look like? Um, yeah. So after the after the your MBA, you can get in you can stay in France for two years to find a job. It's a special agreement that we have with France and India, so that so you can stay for two years in France to to look for a job. Okay. Uh, someone asked about the uh, screening interview that we do for the applicants, and they asked if it was a regular phone call or a Skype. We do it via uh, Zoom or via. Um, Streamyard like we're we're using today, so yes, we we it, it wouldn't be a regular phone call; it would be a Zoom or a Skype call. Um, uh, someone has asked about uh, what backgrounds. For example, they have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. Um, would they be eligible for the MBA program? It's my understanding that. Anyone who has a bachelor's degree is eligible to apply to the MBA program. Is that correct? Johan? Sorry, Stephen, I didn't just. Uh, there was an individual who said that they have a three year diploma, three year degree in civil engineering. Yeah. And uh, they are wondering if they, they would be eligible to apply for the MBA. And yeah. my understanding is that, yes, they are eligible. To apply for the MBA program, you need. Uh, uh, a, uh, the equivalent of a university degree, a three-year degree, if you're in the United States, a four-year degree, ours are longer, uh, but you would need a bachelor's degree, um, a university diploma to apply for the MBA, to apply for the bachelor's program. You would need to have uh, the equivalent of a high school diploma um, to apply to the bachelor's program. And uh, there's a question about which intake can they apply for the uh, upcoming uh, fall? Um, and Or can they apply for spring? They can apply for either. Is yep. that correct? And we have a question that just popped in uh, after, uh, well, okay, your English is okay. Uh, you mean after done, after they finished the MBA, can they stay two years in France? And I think the answer to that is yes. Yes, it's yes. It is yes, yes. Manish will have to help you with your English. So, but yes. <laughs> you can Another question. It. Are Pakistan students eligible to apply? I think yes, of course, they can go and apply. We all, I also, we had that question from someone from Sri Lanka, which I believe are also eligible to apply. Right now, I think the only country uh from that part of the world that may have a problem getting a, a visa is uh students who come from afghanistan i think the others are are able to get visas no, but it, we have to take care case by case i don't know actually yeah. yeah okay other do you see other questions that we need to address here yeah how much funds we need to show for visa officer for living, for living expenses. Actually, you have to show uh, around 700 euros per month uh, when you stay in France. So that means if you stay in France for one year, you have to show uh, like 8,500 euros in your bank account to the visa. Someone asked about uh, the need for a sponsor. Uh, I think I saw that a, a, a few uh, questions ago, a few minutes ago. Are they required to have a sponsor to come or is the school technically their sponsor? Uh, what does it mean with the sponsor? Uh, I'm assuming someone who uh, 
uh, vouches for them and provides them with financial resources. For example, to come to the United States to study, you need to have a sponsor uh, who will uh, vouch uh, and provide you with financial resources if necessary. Is that the case in France or if they, or does if they come, is the school technically there? Actually, you don't really need a sponsor. You, okay. you just have to show to, to the embassy that you have the financial capacity to stay in France. It will be the money from your parents or of, of the money from someone of your family. Okay. Someone asked how much they need to pay uh, up front before they arrive in France. How much, what, what percentage of the, uh, the fee do they need to pay uh, before their uh, meeting with the embassy? The best, to, to be sure that they receive the visa, the best thing is to pay 100% uh, of the fees. Of course, if they don't receive the visa, it will be refundable. Okay. And we have a question. Someone said that they have a gap in their studies and they wondered if they could apply uh, for the MBA. Uh, they can apply for the MBA as long as they have a completed three-year or four-year degree. If they have a university diploma, a university degree, they can apply for the MBA. Uh, in the interview, we might ask what you've been up to for the last nine years. Uh, but uh, you, you don't have to be coming directly from a bachelor's degree to uh, apply to the master's program. There can be a gap. Yeah, can be a gap. But for the Campus France and also for the embassy, you have to explain what you did between during your gap. Uh -huh. And someone asked if they could do the MBA program in one year. It's my understanding that it's a two-year program. And to receive the MBA would require the two full years. Yes, it is a two years program. Yeah. Um, still getting the question about uh, a dependent bringing a spouse or a significant other or a dependent with them. Again, they'd have to work that out with the uh, embassy for getting the visa. But if they can get a visa for the dependent, I assume yes. Yeah. Uh, with dependent. If your if your partner is, the, is a student, uh, it's it's uh, possible to come. Uh, question: uh, I'm assuming that Ethiopia uh, students from Ethiopia can receive a visa to come. Is that? I don't really know. I don't think we have Ethiopian students now. So well, there's a, there's a question that says are are Ethiopians eligible to apply? Yeah, they are, they are eligible to apply for sure, but. For the visa, you have to, to call the Campus France in Ethiopia or directly the, the embassy. Yeah. Okay. So we've addressed the fees, the study gap, the length of time, uh, eligibility. I'm looking at application last day. Is there a deadline they need to apply by? Yeah. Uh, the application last day will be the, the, the 5th of October. October 5th is the application yeah. deadline. And someone asked the total fee for the MBA. If they had the scholarship, it would be 7,000 euro. Without the scholarship, it is 9,500 euro per year. So that would be the total fees for the two years would be 19,000 euro. Is that correct? 9,500 twice would be uh 19,000 uh, euro for the two years they would pay the they would pay the fee of 9,500 euros yeah uh each year for the two years or if they have the scholarship is that scholarship if they get the scholarship for the first year will they also have the scholarship for the second year yes yeah the, yes if they have so, the scholarship for the first year it's uh, available also for the second year Okay, so if you if you had the scholarship, you would pay uh, seven thousand euros for the first year and seven thousand euros for the second year. So the total fees for the two years of the program would be fourteen thousand euro, which exactly. is a good savings for MBA for the MBA. Yeah, for the MBA. Someone asked um, how much time uh, in between when they submit their application. Uh, should they expect to wait uh, to for the interview? We do those fairly quickly, I thought. 
yeah, it's quite for the interview with the with our school between the application and the interview. It will be like it will be in the week. So the person from Afghanistan is asking uh, that uh, Afghan uh, Afghans have a are I'm currently unable to get a visa to enter in France. Is there any other way they can um, get into France? I don't think there is currently. Uh, I don't. Who asked those questions? Uh, Zaire. He asks. Uh, you mentioned that the only country which will have a problem in getting the visa will be from Afghanistan. If this is the case, then please tell us clearly to find some other destination. Um, I'm assuming he's asking if, is there another way to get a visa for France? I don't, if you're an Afghan citizen, I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think so. And someone was asking about work permits. Will there be any issues in getting work permits for students who do internships? Uh, yeah. So this, during the, your, your um, studying in the, in the academy, you can work uh, 20 hours per week. Okay. Um, and there's an individual um, who might be having, he says, I'm, I am from, and I'm trying to apply. Oh, I lost that. But I couldn't submit my application. I'm assuming that person might be having some difficulty uh, trying to actually get the application to upload. Do they do they download those materials? How do they, it's all submitted by email, is that correct? It's by email also, they can upload, upload their application on the website, it's possible. Okay, so and we then- will, uh, We will see what uh, happens with your application. Uh, an individual asks, um, so they, they pay uh, half up front, they get their visa. If they've received their visa, when are the rest of their fees due? Uh, what what the questions? Is okay, so they, they've had their interview with the visa. If, if here's the scenario, they apply, uh, we interview them, uh, they're accepted, they uh, have their interview with the embassy, they are uh, eligible to receive a visa. There are one, they were asking, when do they pay the other half of the fees? When is the, the, you have the to rest of the money due? Before to leave your country. Okay. So be before arriving in, in France, before arriving at the school, they will have needed to, to pay the full amount of the fees. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And someone's asking, are they eligible to work part time? I'm assuming that that is not the internship, but uh, another type of employment. Can they work while they're in France? Yeah, they can. They can work 20 hours a week. OK. So uh, friends, YT, yes, you can work part time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there any Yes, is there any registration fees or payment? Yes, the registration fees are 320 euros. So yeah, so there's that 320 uh, euro fee. Is that, that's paid just once though, is that correct? Or is that paid each year, that 320 fee? It's the admission fees. Okay, so it's a one-time 320 euro fee. Yeah, okay. One time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, uh, again, uh, the question was asked about the uh, link for the application, and you, you should be able to see that slide right now uh, with the uh, email addresses and the links, uh, admission at leonbusinessacademy.com. Um, uh, is uh, where you can and go to the website leonbusinessacademy.com and that's where you'll find the the application uh, form and all the instructions for applying for applying. Uh, is there a limit to the amount of time an individual uh, is allowed to work in France? Can can they can they work? Um, 
I'm, I'm not sure if that question means after the program is done. You, you said something about they're eligible for two years. Exactly. But, but I'm assuming if they have full-time employment, that can be extended probably at the end of yes, the two years? Yes, it, it could be. It could be. It depends on the, the employer. Okay. Someone is asking about PR after graduation. I don't know what they mean by PR. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that PR represents. Oh, good question. Um, can uh, dependents, if they come with a dependent, uh, obviously that dependent will have a visa. Would that dependent be eligible to work? I suspect that would be uh, contingent upon um, the type of visa um, that's uh, received. With the, with the correct visa, I assume, yes, they can work. You'd have to ask the embassy that question. What yeah. type of visa would be required for your dependent to be able to work? Okay, we have we have an answer to a lot of, um, to a lot of questions. So maybe we can be in touch with you, and if you have more questions, we can uh, we can answer to you directly. Okay. Okay. So um, can you apply without a passport? No, you do need a passport. Part of the application process, we ask you to send us a photocopy of the front and back of your passport. So you, you will need the passport to apply. Yeah. Johan, should we, should we wrap things up? Should we? To my compris? On peut se terminer? You, you don't need a passport to, to apply to the school, but if you want to come, you need to have a visa. Okay. So you'll, you'll have, so they can actually apply before they've received their passport then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So I, I apologize. I was wrong. Um, if, if you don't have your passport yet, you can still apply, but obviously you will need that passport and you will need your visa to come. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ça y est, on peut terminer. Yeah, on peut terminer. Yeah. Okay. We can throw. Thank you. Maybe Anissa, you can do something, say something. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining this webinar with us. It was our pleasure to answer your questions. If you have more questions or things to clarify, we are here to help you and support to be part of the team. Please go to our email addresses and other contacts and get in touch with us. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye. you. See you soon, I hope. <laughs>